Okay, thank you for visiting my alkaline water post. This one's entitled The Age of Alkaline. And I was truly inspired twice tonight. <clears throat> and I want to comment on both inspirations. One was, I was trying to make this video earlier in the day. And you know, I sometimes make videos in my car. But every time I was making the video, I was getting phone calls. And one of the gentlemen right in the middle of the video called me and I knew who it was. So I, I stopped making the video. I took the call. And he invited me to play some tennis in his backyard. Uh, he has a tennis court. And then he said, you know, we can um, have some fun and blah, blah, blah. Have a cookout afterwards and a swimming afterwards, you know. And I was like, wow. And he invited me a couple of times, but it got rained out. And I just thought maybe he had forgotten me. Turns out he didn't. And we're on again. So I'm, I'm looking really forward to that. And at the end of the uh, invite, he said, yeah, by the way, I really like your Facebook posts. Uh, you got a lot going for you and stuff. And I was like, whoa, I was really inspired because I'm not really sure if people are watching these things. So the other inspiration was as soon as I got home, I said, well, you know, I didn't make a post tonight. No, so be it. Uh, and I'm watching this movie. So this post is, is, is based on this movie I'm watching and it's called The Age of Alkaline. That's the title of this post, The Age of Alkaline. The movie was called The Age of Adeline. It's just really strange that... I was making my recording earlier and I was talking about electricity and water and how it brings life to water and how water, a lot of city water is considered dead water by people who really study water and water that comes from like the stream or country that's constantly moving or in motion is called alive water and a lot of that water has come from thunderstorms or has been in thunderstorms and lightning and when it gets struck by lightning or there's ionization in the air, the water also becomes ionized and it becomes alkaline. So I'm watching this movie and the age of Adeline, uh, which I highly recommend it. Harrison Ford was in it. And it, was, it was pretty uh, good acting. Uh, this young lady doesn't age. And apparently she was, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to watch it again, how she never aged. But... They did say something that in the year 1700 and something, the moon got hit by a meteor. And that meteor created ionization in the air, uh, I guess an electrical charge. And something happened when the waves and the water in the South America really went high. Anyway, so this lady, she's Adeline and she uh, lives forever. And I'm not sure why, but she gets in this, she gets, gets in this car accident and... As soon as she realizes, well, she gets hit bad and the car rolls over and the narrator of the story says at a certain time, this lady's heart stops and by all means, she's dead and by any measure of death, she's dead. And so anyway, this guy who loves her is looking for her and uh, there are medics there. And what do the medics do? Of course, they hit her with electricity. Zap! And sure enough, her heart starts, comes back to life. And this is just, I was making this post tonight about how that's how they bring people back to life. I wasn't even going to watch this movie, but for some reason, anyway, so this is entitled The Age of Alkaline, and it's inspired by The Age of Adeline, a movie. But